Hey guys, Jess here, and welcome back to another video, and today we are actually back on Forza Horizon 2 after 4 months, maybe a little bit more than that, but still, it's been over 4 months, and uh, the reason why I didn't really play this game, or even make videos on it, or make just just play and make videos on it in general, is, um, well, I didn't really know what else to do on this game, um, and also I didn't really like it anymore, to be honest, but anyway, um, today I decided to hop on it because, well, I, I don't really have any other games to play. I mean, I could play Need for Speed and make like a PvP video on it or whatever. Or I could go on the crew and make a PvP video, but I decided let's go on Forza Horizon 2. Now, I will be doing a Forza 6 video. I never thought I would actually say that, but, uh, things are changing, man. Things are changing. So, today we are going to get a hatchback. I know, a hatchback, and we're just going to customize it, so I've had thoughts about getting this car and just completely making it look crap, even though it already is, but uh, I want to get either a Renault or a Volkswagen, or just some type of like hatchback in general, so I'll be right back with you once I pick the car. So I decided to go with this car, the Renault Sport Clio V6. Now, um, I believe this car was in Need for Speed Most Wanted 2005, I believe. It wasn't one of the starter cars, that was the Fiat Punto. But, um, yeah, a completely different car. But anyway, we're going to pick a color. Now, there are a lot of colors, obviously, man. Like, look at the selection. So, let's go through all the greens and uh, see if we can find anything that looks... Uh, that looks interesting. I was thinking about getting this color. It actually doesn't look too bad. I kind of like it. You're probably going to kill me now that I've said that. But anyway, we're going to go with this color and go with this car because why not? I mean, it's a Renault Clio. Okay, so here we are in the garage. And uh, first of all, we got to go with the customization options. So first of all, front bumper. That like changed like a few little things here and there. Um, and this, it just adds like a canine and a front splitter and that little red toilet looking seat thing. That's a toilet seat thing, wow, good job. Good job describing that. So I think we're just going to go with this because uh, we, we want to make this thing look... Uh, how are we supposed to make it look insane when you have that wing? And then fours that come out of nowhere with this weird looking rally type wing. Which is exactly why I'm going to go for it. And then for the rear bumper, let's see how much of a change this is going to do. Um, I, I noticed the difference, but all it does is make the, f the back, the, the rear bumper flat. Instead of having like a bit of like an edge to it. Which I don't want to do. Because it it's a race car. It needs to be, needs to be pointy. It needs to be edgy. See, like that. Even though it makes it only look slightly... Um, out it I'm good at explaining things aren't I okay so we're gonna move on to the rims so uh, sport rim style eh not really multi rim multi piece rim style there might be some weird looking one weird looking one weird bleh, weird looking rims in that section but we're gonna go with the specialized um, rim selection so we got these actually wouldn't look too bad, I'm not even going to lie. I mean, these look horrible, but... I mean, at least that kind, it kind of fits, I'm not going to lie. We could go with Smith. Oh, this is just going to be... This is going to be a great looking car. So I've decided to settle with these. Um, Torque Thrust M American Racing Custom Wheels. Um, because they actually don't look bad, if I'm honest. <laughs> it doesn't look bad, and then we're gonna um, we're gonna increase the size, and then we're gonna do the performance, which you don't want to see because that's so boring. So now we are done with the car. Now it actually took me over ten minutes just to put on that little decal. I know. Now I was gonna have you know this uh, ugly looking wrap, like I was going to put some flames on it, you know, just overall make it look terrible, but I just decided to leave it like this, because 
I don't know. I mean, simple is better, I guess. I don't know. But we are just gonna, um... I guess we're just gonna verse some, uh... Some AI drivers. Now, hopefully I can find some very difficult, um... AI drivers. Not AI. <laughs> Driver TARS. Oh, look at... Never mind. There are, like, tons of races going by me, but... I can't be bothered just turning around and going in their direction. Alright, we're just gonna go up against this Shelby uh, GT500 because why not? His name is Goo Story Knight. Cool name. Alright, so let's see how this does. Um, so far, it's not doing well. Now, since this is Forza Horizon 2, if you're doing terrible, just go off road. You know, that should have been the slogan of the game. If you're behind, go off road. Wow, I leveled up. Spin for a prize that is completely useless now because I completed the game. What just happened? I didn't even see you, mate. Wait, what? Isn't this the right way? Why did it tell me I was going the wrong way? So we came in first, surprisingly, and we got a whopping 5,000 credits. Now for the fun of it, let's just spin the the wheel spin. And see what we get. See what I mean? Like, it's completely useless. Like, 14k? Like, what, what am I going to do with that? I have, like, nothing to spend that on. Oh, look at this guy's name. King Dubwub. Let's go. Let's go. Let's verse him. Why not? Oh, look at him. Look at him speed away. I can just go off-road and catch up. Oh, look, it's DK. What's DK doing out here in, uh... In Europe? What is he doing in Europe? Whopping 4,000 credits again. So that's going to do it for today's video, guys. Um, sorry that it was a little bit short. Um, even though it's going to be like 25 minutes worth of recording here, it's probably going to be like a 5-minute video. So yeah, um, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Now, I will be taking this car out and using it in a online road trip. Um, if you would like to see that, um, tell me in the comment section down below because I think it would be hilarious if I did. But yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you guys in the next video. See ya.